What the anxious is in attachment theory is the chaser in spirituality. What the dismissive avoidant is in attachment theory is the runner in spirituality. What the fearful avoidant and disorganized is in attachment theory is both the runner and the chaser in spirituality. And for today's video, I would like to reveal to you how two opposites, seemingly opposite dynamics are actually the same. And as the Buddha said, the reason of suffering is that we chase love and run away from pain. And these two dynamics are actually doing something that is exactly the same. Their locus of control is on the outer world. One is wanting love from the outer world and one is defending oneself from pain from the outer world. Both these dynamics are not focused inwards with responsibility, the ability to respond both to pain, perceived pain, right? It's projected outwards and both to love, to find the focus within, to find love within. So in order to be able to shift this dynamic around, one would need to first see if they're running to chase love, running to get something on the outer world to fill up a void, and then shift the focus from the outward, from the outer world in, therefore allowing this dynamic to play out in wanting to be stuck on somebody or something on the outer world. And then through that process, bringing in the focus towards our body, towards our inner world. This is the way we could heal this dynamic of expecting love, anticipating, waiting for the savior from the outer world. So in this dynamic, I would be the victim in the victim position, expecting the savior and therefore I'm chasing. Therefore, I'm anxious, preoccupied. Therefore, in the fearful avoidant attachment style, my uh, anxious part is activated. Now, for the other part, for the runner dynamic, the dismissive avoidant and also fearful avoidant part uh, dynamic that is expressed is we would want to look at this. So as we have the anxious, the chaser, wanting to find the savior from the outer world, the other dynamic, its opposite, which is really the same, is actually looking for the villain on the outer world, looking for the, um, the one that's going to create pain, right, from the outer world. So whereas one dynamic is looking for love, savior, the other one is looking to defend themselves from pain, therefore defend themselves from the perpetrator, the villain the bad person, the one that's going to betray them, what's going to hurt them. And so um, in order to heal this, we would want, on the dismissive side, we would want to call in the triggers and allow to whatever we're projecting on the outer world as wrong and bad and uh, looking at others as if they are the villains in our narrative, making us the victims, we would want to find what they are mirroring back to us. We would want to find it within ourselves. So in order to change this dynamic, change this perspective, we would want to see anyone on our outer world that we are labeling as maybe needy and selfish at the same time or very, um, I don't know, self-centered. How we judge them as wrong and how we see them through those filters, when we can find this dynamic within ourselves and go give that part of ourselves love, then we are healing the walls, the heart walls that we put up. So whereas on the other side, on the chaser dynamic or the anxious uh, dynamic, we are bringing the focus in our inner world, allowing for us to become self-sourced love that we always have been just to recognize it and realize it. That's the one part that we're shifting the perspective, right, of and healing it. On the other side, on the dismissive and fearful avoidance side, we would want to softly and lovingly break down those heart walls and allow love in instead of withholding love and defending ourselves from love. So the one is defending themselves from love. The other one is chasing love. So chasing love is also chasing pain. Defending ourselves from pain is also defending ourselves from love. And with that, I would like to end this video. I would like to remind you that if you have any questions, please reach out. Find me on social media 
and um, message me. I love to answer questions. I hope this video helped and I hope to see you soon. Bye now.